So do you have any tips for how to get into acting for young people? For young people, um, I think it does depend what age you are. But what I would say is this. I mean, of course, things have changed quite dramatically from when I was um, younger and I was getting into to drama. Um, but I'd say to start off where you are. If you're at school, do they do school play? See whether you can get into that. Or if there are after school clubs where they do drama classes or anything like that, any kind of performing really. Because um, I really started off, I think, um, um, I think it was probably infants and juniors. We did a lot of plays and choirs. And I remember when I was at St. Peter's, we had, um, we had the junior choir uh, with Major Chater running it actually. And we performed a lot. And I think just having, take, seizing the opportunity to perform is really, really helpful at, at every age and at every stage. And then I think um, once you get a bit older, uh, you doing your G, well, it's GCSEs uh, that you do, isn't it? IGCSEs here. And um, you can pick drama. Um, that was really, really useful for me. At St. Peter's, we had Mrs. Walsh, who ran the um, drama school, um, uh, yeah, that was head of drama. And um, we got to do all sorts of improv improvisations and that sort of thing. I think that's really helpful. There are great youth theatres. There's, um, I, I'm sure it's still going, National Youth Theatre. Um, and um, there's the Everyman Theatre in Gloucestershire, which is in Cheltenham. Um, that's where I went and that was wonderful. You get to do plays. Um, it's like after school and we did tours. We toured in Amsterdam with the um, Anne Frank play that we did, which was amazing. Um, so all of those sorts of things, there are, there are usually local theatres that sometimes do like amateur dramatics and you can join that. And I think you have stagecoach and those sorts of things that go on. I know that some of them do charge quite a lot of money. So that's not for everybody. But it's just look in your local area with your connections from school and just see what's available. Because I think whether it's choir, whether it's anything like that, just getting to perform, that's where you sort of develop your love of it and meet other people that love it too. And they'll take you to that ne next stage. And then after that, of course, you have your drama schools and theatre schools. That's, that's what I did. That's the route I took. Some people do um, uh, go on to university and um, they have plays there. Well, I went to university and um, uh, there was a separate department that was doing uh, plays. I think I was actually studying film at the time, but and, um, it was nothing to do with my course, but you get the opportunity to be in plays. So I did that too. So anywhere there's an opportunity, I'd say just jump all over it. And, and have a go because it's all experience. So um, I'd say to start there. And then of course, as I said, there are drama schools and um, that you can go to afterwards. And that gives you your real training um, and um, sets you up for the world of work. I know that there are also um, more theater schools um, like Italia Conti, that sort of thing. Um, this information might all be really out of date, but um, uh, and they will take you right up to finding agents and um, really entering the professional world of work. Um, a lot of them, they even give you opportunities to perform while you're still very young on stage as extras and just being in different musicals. So there's lots and lots out there, lots and lots. Um, and I just would say jump in where you are with whatever budget you can afford, with whatever's around you. And there'll be lots of people, even teachers, I'm sure, that teach drama will be able to point you in the right direction if you don't know exactly um, where to go from where you are. So yeah, that's what I'd say, get stuck in. <laughs>